Hello Java developers, we are here today to see how the MicroProfile Health API can work together with Kubernetes to make your application more resilient. First, we need to understand what is a liveness probe and a redness probe of Kubernetes. And for that, I will demo a microservice that is deployed on my Kubernetes cluster running on top of the Oracle Linux cloud native environment. Note here that I have uh, my microservice that is returning hello, the name of the pod, and a counter here. I have one re single replica running and I will make it fail by consuming this special endpoint. When I call it, it starts to return a 503 error. And that will keep that way forever unless we write a liveness probe for our microservice. A liveness probe is a special instruction that you can make it uh, consume, for example, uh, a special endpoint. In this case, I'm consuming a path at health dash live on the port 8080. And I will change also some parameters here to make this uh, liveness probe more aggressive. So I will make this liveness probe to check every single second. By the default, it's always at each 10 seconds. I will consume it every single second. I will also make it fail in the first error. Okay, the default is number is three. I will make it wait five seconds. And also my success threshold will be one. Okay, so it's very aggressive now. So let me apply that file. So kubectl apply dash f app in the namespace microprofile. It will cause my pod to die and restart with new parameters. You can see here that it started from the scratch and now I will make it fail again. Note here the behavior. So make it fail, it started to fail and then it was automatically restarted and everything is working again. So that's the beauty of having Kubernetes managing the infrastructure for us. Let me make it fail again. It detected that's not live and restarted twice to make the microservice always available. Now you can ask me, and what's the difference uh, between the liveness probe and the redness probe? Well, the liveness, we saw that it detects if the application is live. Otherwise, it will restart the application for you automatically. The redness probe will mark our application as ready or not. So let's change our liveness probe to a redness probe. So note here that I change it from liveness to redness and I'm also changing here the path. I will talk more about the different paths at the end of this video. And I'm also changing the number of replicas to two. Let's deploy this new application. Now that I've deployed this new version, we can note some things here. We have two replicas running, each one of them replying in a round robin fashion and we have uh, in our service both endpoints for both pods. What I will do now is the same thing. I will call my special endpoint to make it fail. So note here what happens when it fails. Kubernetes automatically removed that pod from my service. So we can notice here that my endpoint has only one single pod and we can notice also that the pod is marked as not ready. So we have one container inside and this container is not ready. What we will do now is make that uh, microservice work again by calling the following command. kubectl is zack in this specific pod, the command curl http host port, port 8080 fix in the namespace microprofile. Now it detected that the application is ready. We have now two endpoints. We have both microservices replying uh, when we consume it then. So now let's see how our application detects if it's that available or not. Well, in that case, I wrote a custom health check. To write a custom health check, it's really easy. Let's take a look. We just need to implement the health check interface 
which has a method call that returns a health check response. In that case, I just need to provide if the response is up or down. In my case, I get the response from the microservice that I injected here. And then if that response returned 500, above 500, well, that means an error, so the health check response is down. Otherwise, the service is up. If we, we use the liveness uh, annotation, it will make this health check to be available as a liveness check, which means that it will be available under the URL health live. We can see that there are already all their health checks here, including the disk space with more data, and our health check hello, which the state is up returning the status code 200. This status code comes from here. I can write, a health, uh, I can provide a data inside my health check response. Well, let's make it fail. I will call that endpoint. And now if I return, I will see it as down. Plus, when I consume that URL, it will return a 503 error with the response. Now, if I make it work, and return to that URL, we will see our service as up, and also no error is returned here. Because Kubernetes has different uh, behaviors between the liveness probe and the redness probe, we can also mark our health check as a redness probe. In that case, we just need to use the annotation redness, and that will make our um, uh, redness check under the URL slash health slash ready, as we can see here. So you can see it's really easy and provides a lot of resilience for your application. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will place the link for this demo in the description of this video. And I want also to ask you for a favor. Please subscribe to this channel, click in the like button, and also make more developers aware of this content. Because as you can see, I'm recording a series of videos just talking about the MicroProfile APIs and how it can help Java developers to produce better cloud native application. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye bye.